What's up party people? Today I want to show you the coolest MIDI controller you may have never even heard of. I'm talking about the Jazz Mutant Lemur. This guy is a touch control surface that allows you to send MIDI messages to a variety of different things. Um, it is an older, older model on um, what I've got here. Um, these are discontinued, been discontinued for a long time. They're very popular in the 2010s, late 2000s, um, because they were the coolest thing ever. This is a multi-touch surface screen where you could put any template you want on here. So if you want piano, you could put piano. If you want pads, you can put pads here. Um, if you want sliders, effects, if you want um, some sort of a dongle that can move and bounce around or has some sort of like X, Y axis effect going on, you can do all that with this super cool MIDI device. Now, the one thing about this is that it sends OSC protocol, it's OSC messages, which is like MIDI with networking built in, and there's a lot more customization in it, which is kind of neat. Um, I was infatuated with this whenever I saw, the first time I saw it was in Daft Punk. I think it was the Grammys with Kanye West when they performed, and they had two or three of these on stage with them, and they were sampling things and using the filter to change the sample and using beat repeats. I feel like it was Ableton's beat repeat, but they were basically playing along with Kanye West and using this as a live instrument. Um, it is one of the coolest things in the world back then. A lot of people didn't even know about it. It was kind of a mystery. Another famous group that used this was the Glitch Mob. They had, I think, three of these on stage that they played with electronic drums. Um, first time I saw this was, on, I think, uh, G4's Attack of the Show. I watched like a YouTube clip of it probably a year or so after it had aired. Um, but showing them how they explain how this integrates in with Ableton Live is one of the coolest things in the world. Um, now, unfortunately, this is almost like a paperweight. Um, you kind of have to have your own, uh, you have to dig up the old software somewhere online. Um, Jazz Mutant, which is now, um, which is no longer a company, um, no longer actually makes the software, or um, you can't really find it no longer, they, they, they know, nor do they support it. I'm sure there is um, third party software out there that does, that does the same thing. Um, but essentially what you used to have to do is plug this in via Ethernet port right here. Um, notice my old Serato Scratch Live sticker. That's what I. That's what came with it when I got it. You plug this into the Ethernet port here, um, and then from there you'd be able to use the editor to go in and say, "Hey, I want to put piano keys here, or I want to put a square a square touch space here." The customization was entirely up to you, and it made it such 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 a cool uh, MIDI controller. Um, you'd also have to do this weird thing where you had to convert your OSC messages to MIDI, um, which took a second because, as you can imagine, you can't send MIDI over Ethernet necessarily. Um, so, unfortunately. It was a pain to use, but one of the coolest things to use back then. Uh, a lot of people use this. I know Linkin Park used this at one point. A lot of other random people use this. Um, today, this kind of guy is kind of gone. But what you can do is you can get an iPad or a Windows tablet, I believe, could also do this, or an I uh, Android tablet. And you can get the Line Lemur app. I think Richie Houghton made that. And what that is, it's basically the same thing in an iPad form. And when I first got that back in like 2012, I was using that to control DJ lights for when I was doing uh, fraternity and sorority DJ parties. We had this big LED wall, these strobe lights, it was the coolest thing. Um, and I'd have one of my buddies come here and basically run the lights using the Jazz Mute, or sorry, using the Lemur app on the iPad. Uh, it was so much fun, it was so cool. And just being able to walk around and control the lights because it was all wireless was amazing. Um, flash forward to now, that app still exists, but now the iPad, I believe, can send MIDI over their lightning cable. So no longer do you have to do this weird thing where you have to run an OSC port on, or an OSC translator software or whatever it's called on your computer. Now the iPad will essentially go through and send direct MIDI through the lightning cable. Um, so yeah, wh why did I want to talk about this today? Because um, this is was so cool. This was so aspiring to see because it was the first piece of electronic, um, a, let's say electronic instrument that was a MIDI device. And for me, when I started producing in 2008, 
that was so cool to see because I had just seen MIDI. I just figured out what MIDI was and my typical MIDI controller was a standard keyboard or a synthesizer with a USB out or a MIDI out or something. Um, I actually used like an old Casio keyboard because it had a standard five pin MIDI out. And that was like all you could use back then. There were, there were some pad controllers and such, but this type of thing, which was a specific instrument to electronic music was unheard of. And this thing was so bad ass. It's actually funny because I bought this a uh, used at Guitar Center, uh, I think for like 250 bucks a couple years ago. This is my second one. Um, and I wanted it because I was building up the Chelsea and the Noise live show and I wanted to use this for that. Turned out to just be a mess and we kind of scratched the idea, um, or scrapped the idea. But what was really cool about this is it still has templates from the previous user on it. So you could actually see where they were setting up some sort of DJ controller, where they actually had a crossfader and different things to, uh, different things to launch samples in Ableton or launch tracks in Ableton. Um, it was just such a cool little piece of history. Um, and I wanted to share it with all you guys to make sure you could see it. Um, but yeah, I think this is probably the coolest MIDI device that you guys have never, ever seen. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of this or sell it or try to sell it if, anyone, if anybody wants it on eBay or something. Um, because unfortunately, this is the end of its line with me. I have no more use for this. If I was going to do something like this, I would get an iPad. Um, but this guy built great, built solid, a really cool touchpad here. Um, obviously, I've got scratches all over it. Oh yeah, before I finish, one other cool thing. The first time I saw one of these in person, uh, I used to work for a company called Double D Events. I was one of their interns. And what we would do is we would go set up a at a bar in Sebastopol, California. We would go and we would set up their dubstep night every Thursday. And they have all these cool dubstep artists. Um, they had Zed's Dead come through at one point, which is so cool. They had, um, I think Rusco came through at one point. Back when dubstep was really big. Um, and the uh, one of the guys asked me if I knew anything about lighting, of course. I knew about DMX protocol. I knew how to set up lighting grids and all that, all that jazz. Um, and he asked me, "Hey, do you want to control the lights for the shows?" So I used to get to go and uh, get to go to this show and play off of play the lights off of this lemur using some sort of like USB to DMX um, converter off the MacBook. And that was probably one of the coolest things ever. If I can find the video, I'll put it here so you guys can see it in a second. Um, but yeah, it's just such a cool little piece of um, electronic, mem uh, such a cool little memory of a piece of electronic gear um, that is so special to me and so cool to me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more of these little short little videos of me talking about random cool stuff, um, please leave a comment down below. If you guys like my stuff, if you guys like my vibe, please give me a subscribe. I'm trying to grow my subscribers, obviously. Um, and yeah, that was the Jazz Mutant Lemur, the coolest MIDI controller you probably didn't know about.